up everybody, Nick here, and in exactly two hours, I am going to attempt my very first blue jean mile. What is a blue jean mile? Well, you run an all out mile in a pair of blue jeans. Now I have my trusty Wranglers here, but I know if I'm gonna have any chance at the world record of four minutes and 11 seconds, I have to have some performance jeans. So we're also gonna go to the Goodwill and get a really baggy pair and an absurdly tight pair. Let's go shopping. All right, now you guys see me wear my run gum headband in nearly every video, but did you know that it doubles as a face covering as well? We were out of stock for the last month, but we just got a massive shipment in, and right now they're 50% off. I'll make sure to link these in the description below. Check them out after the video. Let's go, Ryan. Two, to the track. One and lift off. Oh, yeah, here we are, South Eugene High School. One hour till go time. I've got skinny jeans. I've got regular jeans. I've got baggy jeans. Let's test them out. Let's start with regular. All right, now to find out which one of these jeans performs best, we're gonna do an all out 100 from a standing start. I'll test first the Levi's. They're hot, they're stiff, but they actually fit. Then we'll test the skinny jeans, then we'll test the big jeans. Let's do this. <laughs> well, 14.9, which is sub four minute pace. If I could put 16 of those together, that'd be a sub four minute mile. I really wanna try the skinny jeans though, they're next. Come on now, these are awesome. These really aren't that bad. 13.5 for the 100. From a standing start, I think we found our winners. But I do want to know how the baggy jeans feel. I mean, I like my jeans baggy, but they're a little too baggy, maybe. Fourteen seven, but I have to run like this to make sure my spikes don't catch. I think I gotta go with the skinny jeans. Are they women's jeans? Maybe. Do they feel incredible? Yes. Where are you guys from? I'm from Oregon, Monmouth. Monmouth, you guys too? Yeah. We got some competition. Marshfield. Marshfield, yeah. Home of Prefontaine, you guys. Milers, 800. Shout out to the 800 guy. 10K. 10K, what's your mile best? 404. 404, 147 for the eight. Gosh, we got real runners. Shoot, did he say 404? Please tell me that did not just happen. Did you hear that? Oh no. I think I just ripped my pants. How bad is it? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. I loved these jeans. Levi's it is. Ah. I think we got a freaking crowd. Woo! Where are your jeans? You got jeans, you jumping in? 
Good. You ready to run? Yeah. All right, the jorts are beautiful. The competitors don't know this yet, but every single person who showed up today is going home with a run gum headband. If you want one, click the link in the description below at the end of this video. All right, man, I'm nervous. You guys nervous? Yeah. This is gonna hurt. Before we can start this one, I need you guys at home to like this video. Tell them to like the video. Like the video. There we go. All right, here we are. The event you've been waiting for It's the Blue Jean Mile. And I'm off the line pretty hard here. I look to my right and I know we have some serious talent. I'm gonna try to steal a couple meters on them early on. I'm in the first place there waddling around in my Levi's. Um, we've got Tony from Run Hub on my right shoulder. Tony's great. Here he takes the lead and sets the pace. 17 seconds through 100 meters. That's pretty quick running and he's actually gapping the pack here. You look at, we got one, two, three, four, five, six runners. It's the worst looking cross country team ever running around in our blue jeans. Hey, but we're out there having fun. I'll tell you this, it's hot out. Even though we're running pretty smoothly in the jeans, like it's not affecting our stride that much, 36, 37 seconds through 200, it's just hot. I am sweating in these jeans. 41 seconds, 42 seconds. Here's a guy coming up behind us in a suit. How great is this? I love it. All right, now at this point, I wanna talk about Tony, our leader. He's a phenomenal runner in the Eugene area. He actually works for one of the local running stores, Run Hub. If you come to the Eugene area, make sure you stop by Run Hub near the Fifth Street Marketplace. They'll get you fitted for a pair of shoes. Great people, great local business. And he's not afraid to lead a race. We see, we've seen Tony lead races at the Eugene Allcomer meets. He's a very fit runner and he comes through the 400 meters here in 71 seconds. That's about 444, 445 pace. Um, you know, he's obviously setting the pace hot here. Look at all these guys. There I come through in 74 seconds, 75 seconds. It's a little slower than I'd ideally wanna run, but my thought is I'd, I'd love to break five today. It's starting to really string out like a mile tens too. Tony's still leading a couple of those better uh, university runners, working together, trying to reel him in. So as we've come through 500 meters, I wanna talk about the history of this event a little bit. The Blue Jean Mile was created, I believe by Sidious Magazine, when they were trying to come up with a creative idea, something fun that people could do in the off season or as a fun way to end a season, maybe something a little bit more responsible than a beer mile. And you know I love a good beer mile, but I've always wanted to try the Blue Jean Mile. Now people started to lower this mile into like what I would call really proper running times. Uh, initially, uh, I believe it was Spencer Brown of the Athlete Special, he helped publicize this on his channel when he ran a 415 blue jean mile. But not to be outdone, the pro said, I want a crack at this. And Dylan Maggard ran a mind-boggling 411, which is where the world record currently stands. I don't know if we can get it today. Watching Tony lead the pack here. He's coming through 800 meters in 220, 221. Looks like it's gonna be right around 222. He hasn't lost anything off that first lap. That is still about 445 pace. The university kids are chasing him. The suit guy is still coming strong and somewhere in there, I'm waddling around in my jeans. I'm actually keying off this kid, hoping that he can break the win for me. Um, but I'm hurting already at 800 meters. I'm not feeling great. Tony continues to lead. The collegians are reeling him in though. They are closing in on him and I have a feeling this is gonna set up for a really incredible last lap. Oh, it hurts so bad already, but I still have almost two full laps left to go. Now, as these collegians close in on Tony, they're really going to start pushing the pace. I expect to see negative lap splitting. Can they get the world record? Unlikely, but let me tell you about someone who probably is going to set the world record tomorrow night. His name's Johnny Gregoric, and he's not just a sub four minute miler, he is a sub 350 miler with a PR in the indoor mile of 349. If anyone can set the world record and possibly get under four minutes for a blue jean mile, it's Johnny Gregor. And he's doing it for a very good cause. Tomorrow, May 30th, it's going down. Make sure you check out his Instagram channel. Johnny will be going for the new world record and possibly a sub
sub four minute mile in the Blue Jean Mile over on his Instagram account in support of Mental Health Awareness Month. 332, 333, oh my gosh, and they're closing in on him. The Collegians have been working together. This is gonna be an insane last lap. Let's see what the final lap split is. Oh, uh, there I am, uh, it's sad. I know, I'm struggling, but you know what? I can look over across the track and I see this incredible last lap setting up. If anything, I'm a spectator. Can they catch Tony? Tony looks really good. I mean, he's opening up that stride. He's going down the back stretch. I'm telling Ryan, Ryan, stop filming me. Go film them. This race is gonna be insane. Who's got the kick? Tony has been leading from the gun. That's not easy to do. With about 200 meters to go, they hit 404, 405. They, uh, Tony's got at least a second, maybe two on the collegians, but we remember it's a 404 miler and a 147, 800 guy. I have to think their kick is sharp and ready to go. Look at them wind it up with 110 meters to go. They come off the turn. It's one, two, three. They're moving left, they're moving right. They're trying to find their lane. They've got to get around another runner. Who's going to win it? 428, 429, 430. With the lean, it is your 800 meter runner. Gosh, I love 800 meter runners. Now, where am I in all this? Here I come down the home stretch for the last time. More than 30 seconds back. 510, 511, 512. You know, 5'12, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I wanted to break five today, but considering the conditions and that I didn't get my performance jeans, which may have been worth a few seconds, I'll take it. 512. Now I get a chance to cheer everybody else on. How about this? 702 in a suit. You've gotta love Sean coming out in a full suit. We have an interview with him in just a little bit. Everyone who competes against me gets a free run gum headband. Where are my competitors at? Well done, you'll need this. They get, get sweating in those jeans. Yeah. Dude, nice run. Oh, I'm you almost, I heard you coming. Good run. You get a headband for pacing me most of the way, but then you dropped my ass. I thought you were gonna, you said 600. I, thought I know, I'm like 600, wind it up. And then you're like, Ooh. I saw you guys right about here and you guys were grouped up. And then I was like, this is any, like it was perfect way to finish. You guys definitely deserve headbands for that incredible one, two, three finish. Who actually got the win? Nice kick, the 147 guy. It's all about the 800. All right, I gotta, I gotta get a quick interview with you. Okay. What's your name? Sean. Sean. Shout out to Sean for running in a full suit. What would you think about someone trying to do that in a full tuxedo? Uh, maybe I'll try it next time. Boom, get this video to 10,000 likes and me and Sean will try it head to head in a full tuxedo. See you next week.